uh, on a related note, I mean, I think about you know OpenStack and it had, had their recent third birthday. I, I, I'm amazed at the amount of buzz that OpenStack gets. I mean, I, it just seems like a, a week doesn't go by where there isn't a news story with OpenStack. And I mean, is that in terms of interoperability, you know, the, the open hybrid cloud, is that is that an interoperable is that interoperable or does that work? Or, your, your, what's your sense of that? Tell the truth. <laughs> Kurt, are you hearing? Do you hear me? Oh yeah, okay. Um, yeah. No, it's, it's thank you. It's it's been a question um, for sure. You know, why can't you take a, a workload out of uh, one OpenStack implementation and move it to another? You know, and it, it goes back to some of those basic things that I talked about earlier. Even just you know how they how they deploy an image versus you know being able to, um, you know, some some require you to stop a server before you can make an image. Others require you to to stop the server before you can attach a volume and you know, in one, it doesn't work to create a snapshot from a volume if the server is not attached yet. And you know, you get into a lot of the kind of the functional issues that go behind the the scenes, and it and it you know, keeps you from being able to kind of move seamlessly from one to another. So yeah, you know, I don't uh, I don't know if that will be solved in the near future. And like David, like you said, you know, maybe we have an extend abstraction up through the integration layer, and so we have kind of integration modules that allow you to uh, you know, manage these things seamlessly with a common single pane of glass kind of tool, uh, even though there are different behind the scenes requirements in each. But it, but it is kind of a, you know, the open clouds aren't open. I don't want to be too uh, too pointed there, but it's I think it's true. Just a little bit more. T tell me tell me uh, explain what, why why the open clouds are not open. You may have just said that, but please make it more clear for me. Well, yeah, okay. So I'm being. You know, they're built on open source software, but because of a number of technical reasons, you can't take data and workload from one and move it to the other uh, and, and continue seamless, seamlessly. So in that regard, you know, the, the movability of, of capabilities from one to another is why I'd say they're not open. Uh -huh. David, you were, you were advising Kurt to tell the truth. I sense there was a pointed remark there. Yeah, oh my totally. God, we, we, we could break into a fight here easily. You guys are not in the same room. But no, David, no. what's your sense of that? O open stack and interoperability, does that make sense to you? Yes, it doesn't. it's not interoperable at all right now in terms of uh, typically, because everybody's gone off in their own proprietary direction. There is a common code base, common set of distributions, but kind of the notion that I'm going to take an open stack distro from somebody, say, in a private cloud area, and then an open stack distro in a public cloud area, and have them kind of communicating one to another, uh, quickly and interoperating quickly, and the ability to provide you know A to A portability just isn't reality right now. So Kurt did tell the truth. He, he, he actually had a very pragmatic response. So it's like any other standard that, that's come around through our careers, and and that we're all old on this phone, right? So we've seen uh, you know, hundreds of these things come in the past, and everybody's going to want to take them off in their own proprietary direction and make them work and play well together in their own way. And therefore, the openness and the portability promise and all those sorts of things that really come by fall by the wayside quickly. And there's instances where it works, um, but in this instance right now we haven't seen the stuff gel in a direction where there is true value there and interoperability and openness in between the various instances. That's just the reality of it. I'd love to see uh, OpenStack or CloudStack or you know, something kind of emerge as kind of a common lingua facia in terms of how we're going to deal with the cloud, but that's, that hasn't happened yet. And I think to Kurt's point that everybody wants the stickiness in the propriety and, and basically don't their piece of the market there's no economic incentive for them to provide it. And there's a lot of discussion about uh, there's sort of this a priori assumption that open is good and proprietary is bad. And I, you know, I think that's just a furphy as well. You know, um, again, it comes back to what's good for your business. What do you need to do? What do you need to achieve? Um, and just because something is open does not necessarily make it better, nor does something proprietary necessarily be bad, or vice versa. It's about no. the use cases, right? Yeah, I think that you're right, Andy. And, and uh, you know, to to be perfectly honest, I think you know when you talk to business executives, they really don't care what the platform is or what goes behind the applications. They care about cost. They care about performance. They care about risk. Yep. And so what what IT wants is choice. So they want to be able to choose environments and solutions that are, uh, meet their cost, control, risk kind of priorities. And so you know, the, the, the platform decision is really, you know, so we're talking about, um, you know, the, the cost, switching costs, so to speak, right? So there's there's more to the total cost in a switching cost conversation than just the cost of the platform. Yeah. So when we get to those operational issues, 
uh, having to train people, you know, having to hire a, a team of Python developers in order to get something to work. Uh, that's where we go back to, you know, our customers are telling us that they want to be able to extend something that they know, that they understand. You know, security is a concern. They want to go with something that they think is secure uh, and extend that versus go with something new and try to patch it in. Uh, but, but it is, it's a switching cost conversation, and there's more to the, switch, the cost than just the platform. 